I'm going to show you how to CC your combustion chambers on the cheap. Stay tuned. What is up Cruise fam, Sonic fam, anybody that's building something that's a little offbeat because you guys know just as well as I do and gals that takes a little more effort to do what it is we're doing here chasing after a 500 horsepower possibly build for the Chevy Cruise 1.8 liter but one of the important things that we need to do is we need to CC the combustion chamber of our freshly milled head so let's go ahead and do that and I'll show you how to do it step by step or at least how I'm gonna do it you know what I mean we have our valve train organizing tray in which we're going to use the intake and exhaust valves I have my head pretty level this table is pretty level so I trust that this head is fairly level <laughs> it's level enough then the old trusty petroleum jelly I don't even know how old this thing is but I've used it quite a bit for projects like this comes in handy <laughs> handy and I'm using a mix of glass cleaner and alcohol just to give it a little bit of color should be fine there and then what we're going to use which I'll leave a link down in the description is this little kit that I got from Speedway Motors actually got it off of Amazon but you can also find it on Speedway Motors this was only $25 and I've already opened it just to take a look at it but let me show you what all comes inside you get a little bit of a, a beaker that measures your your cc's and so we'll fill that all the way up to 100 i'll show you that here in a moment what we got stickers doesn't even want to stick and then the other star of the show is this glass here in which we're going to use the petroleum jelly just to seal up the cylinder head but let's go ahead and dive into that and I'll, I'll walk you through it this is going to be a pretty simple process I'm going to take one of my intake valves here I'm just going to put a little bit of this petroleum jelly on the stem and then the face of the valve that will just help seal things and then keep the valve from just being dry really so we'll toss that in there repeat the same thing for this valve here a little on the stem a little bit on the face of the valve i'm going to do the same thing on the exhaust side just going to toss that on in got one more valve we'll put a little on the face of the valve a little on the stem so it's not dry just plain old petroleum jelly we'll toss that on in there one of the stars of the show is this plate here it does have a hole in it so that way you can add your fluid in it and calculate your cc's of your combustion chamber let's figure out what will be the best way to do this i'm thinking perhaps either this way or that way might be just fine but what we're going to have to do is we're going to take a little bit of our petroleum jelly here and we're just going to go around the outside of it and you just want to put you don't have to get crazy with it but at the same time you just need enough to seal it up keep that fluid from leaking out going to get rid of any excess that is in the chamber that might give us a little bit of a false reading so i think i'm going to set that right there there we go all right so what i was really looking for is just and I can see some of that getting inside. Not that big of a deal. It'll still give us a ballpark as to what our CC of our combustion chamber is, but just going around the seam of this thing, you can see it just start to seal up. Um, probably, and this thing is hard to pull up. I can probably pull some of this off. Just to make sure we get a little bit more of an accurate reading. We'll just put that back down. Just want to make sure it's sealed up. And you saw how hard it was to actually pull that up. 
There we go. Something I forgot to mention earlier. I, I have my spark plugs already in the head. They've just been there since I've taken the head off. You will need your spark plug installed, torqued down, just to make sure none of that fluid just runs out. The other part of this whole ordeal is this beaker here that is a 100cc beaker. And this to me seems like a little bit of a problem. You could take it and pour it into that hole very carefully. But I do have a solution for this and this is just a little bit of a syringe. You can get these at any grocery store. This will help to just kind of draw some of that fluid out and put it down into the combustion chamber so that way we can CC it. We've got our beaker here and we're just gonna pour some of this into the beaker and we want to pour it and just fill it all the way up to 100. We'll fill this all the way up to 100. And it looks like we overshot it just a little bit. We'll take some of that out and we'll get it right up to the line. And now we are ready to take our beaker and I'm going to use this initially, make sure I got everything out and we'll add it to our combustion chamber. Now that we're all set, I'm going to take my syringe here and just start filling up the combustion chamber here. And hopefully this doesn't just piss out, which I don't see why it would. We got it all sealed up. And this is a pretty easy way to not really make a whole lot of a mess. And we're just going to continue to fill this thing up. All right, we're getting at a, a pretty good spot where I feel perhaps maybe comfortable enough to try and use this little beaker just to pour it out. And I'm just going to be really careful. And we don't want that to happen because that can give us a little bit of a false reading. Let's see if we can toss some of that in there. Not that big of a deal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, we're going to continue to use this syringe here until we can get a little bit better of a, a pour. And we're almost completely full. Just wait until this thing starts to want to overflow. We didn't lose too much, so it's not gonna throw our reading off all that bad. But let's try and use this syringe just a little more. So I think we're getting pretty, pretty close. And we can give it a little bit of a wiggle. You can still see where the air is at. Hopefully, just hopefully, we're at the point where I can actually just start to pour this in. Yeah, I think we're there. So here we go. Looks like we still have a little ways to go. I'm just trying not to, to make a mess and lose the fluid with this. I'm just gonna kind of take my time with it. And you'll see the air just start to close up, start to run out of space there. And lost just a little bit of fluid, not too big of a deal. I'm just going to lean this forward just a little bit, kind of get the air over this side. And we'll kind of factor in some of that loss. Not that big of a deal. We're almost there. Let's go ahead and get this air bubble back up to the top here. And I think I might just put a paper towel on this side of the cylinder head. Kind of elevate it just a little bit. We just have a little more to go. I think I might just lift up on the head over here to kind of help 
And you might make a little bit of a mess with this. This is not the easiest task. We still have just a tiny little pocket here. But I'm going to attest this little bit of an air pocket to what little bit of spillage I did have. Maybe not. Let's see if we can fill that thing up. We'll kind of guesstimate how much we lost. Okay. There we go. We have but just maybe a tiny little bubble there. So what we ended up using is about 49 cc's of fluid. We're right at about 51. I'm pretty happy with how things actually kind of filled up. We did have just a little bit of spillage. There's a couple bubbles here, but we'll just attest that to some of the fluid that we did lose. Nothing is leaking out of the cylinder head, so that's good. We're getting a good reading. You just want to make sure they are not leaking. I did have to go around and do this a second time. I would recommend doing it maybe a couple, two or three times just to kind of get an average reading. And here we are, try number three is right at the same reading. So I am happy with that average. We have 49 cc combustion chambers. Well, I'm happy with the results of CCing the combustion chambers. That way we can get an accurate compression ratio once we go to build our motor. I hope this was helpful. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I'm Matt, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below, because all that stuff helps. Until the next time, peace out. With you peace out. Now the fun part is removing the fluid out of the head.